What's going on guys? I know it's been a long time since I've posted a video. Uh, my apologies on that. I've just been working a lot extra lately. Uh, but I'm hoping this video will make up for that as well as help a lot of people out. Okay, basically what we're going to do today is downgrade our A5 devices. Um, iPhone 4S, iPad 2 from 5.1 software down to 5.0.1 so we can go ahead and get that uh, jailbreak back. Uh, first things first, a uh, few things you're going to need. Uh, of course you're going to need the latest, greatest Red Snow app. I'll have a link to that in the description below. Uh, so make sure you download that first. Uh, second of all, you're going to need uh, a couple firmwares for your iPhone 4S. Um, your first one being the 5.0.19A405 firmware. Now that is as of today. The Dev Team blog has said that they will update it to the 9A406 uh, within the next update. But now, right now, it is uh, the iPhone 4S 5.0.1 9A405. Uh, also, you're going to need the iPhone 4S firmware 5.1.1 uh, because this is actually going to hack the baseband to the latest 5.1.1 baseband. So make sure you go ahead and grab those three things before you go ahead and start this. Now, my rule of thumb is always to put the device into DFU mode before you do anything. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. If you don't know how to uh, put your device into DFU mode, uh, it's pretty simple. Just uh, go ahead and hold the home and power buttons for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the top power button. Two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten and let go of that home button and you should just have a black screen with uh, a few fingerprints on it that's about it um, so yeah you are successfully in DFU mode now let's go ahead and set this there go ahead and open up the red snow app okay um, now basically you see right here we have iPhone 4s in the DFU mode it was on 5.1 and we're going to download or excuse me downgrade back to 5.0.1 you're going to go to extras then you go all the way down to even more okay uh, you select that and you will go down to the bottom to where it says restore and it will have you select one of the IPSW's um, I'm going to go ahead and tilt this up because it does show some personal information there Okay, uh, so simply go up to your IPSW, go ahead and select that. It'll bring up your window uh, to go ahead and check your firmware. And as I said before, you're looking for 5.0.19A405. So go ahead and double click that. Message comes up, tells you you need 5.1.1 as well. So it's going to bring you back to the same window. I always keep everything on my desktop so I know where it's at. Go ahead and select the 5.1.1. And then you're greeted with your warning. Uh, basically, like I said before, it's going to update your baseband to the 5.1.1. So if you do rely on an unlock, such as Ultra Snow, this is probably going to cause you to lose it. So just to be on the safe side, uh, I would wait till the 5.1 jailbreak comes out in a few weeks. However, if you want to do it, hey, do whatever you want to do. It's all on you <laughs> at this point. So I'm good. I don't rely on an unlock. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes. All right and right up here you have uh, the build that you want to downgrade to which is 5.0.19A405 below that you're gonna have blobs uh, one of them is local so if you have your SHSH, excuse me, SHSH saved to your desktop you can go ahead and manually do it however below that is your remote blobs uh, that has some personal information on it so if that's your blobs are on Cydia and you've saved them to Sark server just go ahead and click remote and basically it's gonna fetch the blobs and load a bunch of things upload the IBSS fetching some blobs from the server uh, let's go ahead and check on the phone as of right now let me actually zoom out here nothing's going on on the phone just yet I'll go ahead and hold this right up there so you can see what is going on 
Okay, and it is loading up. Uh, sooner or later, you should see uh, the device uh, flash uh, with the Apple logo and the progress bar. However, um, if not, uh, this is going to, I'll tell you right now, what's going to happen is it's going to load the, um, it's going to stitch the blobs, it's going to load the 5.1.1 baseband on your device. So just so you know ahead of time, this is going to do it uh, twice. It's going to repeat itself. So basically after it gets done loading all this stuff and the progress bar gets to finished on the phone, it's going to go ahead and go back and uh, basically put the 9A405 5.0.1 firmware on the phone. So if it does get stuck, um, you know, and you have no idea what's going on, why it's repeating itself, not a problem. As you can see, the Apple logo is on the phone. It's uploading the kernel and waiting for the device. There we go with the progress bar. So like I said, yeah, this is going to happen twice. Um, as you can see, let me zoom in here. It's restoring to the hacked iPhone 4S 5.1.1 baseband. And then after the progress bar on the phone itself is complete, it will actually look like it's starting all over again. Um, and then you will see this progress bar right here uh, do the same thing, uh, say a couple couple different things here uh, flash the baseband again but then it's going to actually put on the 5.0.1 software for you so as you can see the progress bar is moving on the phone as well Let's see if we can sit this up here without it falling are we good are we good yeah I guess we are so yeah just be patient um, like I said it does take a little bit of time uh, I'm not speeding anything up or editing anything because I'd rather have you guys see it as I see it, you know, just in case there are any errors or error messages, you know, we can, uh, I can show you where to go from there. Uh, but basically, like I said, it's going to do this twice. And once that's done, we are going to be on 5.0.1 and you can actually jailbreak right from inside Red Snow now. So you don't have to go back to the old absinthe and do it that way. I mean, if that's what you prefer, that's what you prefer, you know. Uh, but you can now uh, jailbreak it straight from the Red Snow app itself. Um, very, very simple, and it's self-explanatory. It actually walks you right through it, so there's no issues, um, you know, of where to go, what to do next. I mean, it tells you right on the screen. Um, so, yeah. So now it's restoring the system image, verifying the restore. And we should be done here. Sorry about all the movement here. Uh, tripod is not available at this point. Checking the file system. Let's check on the phone. It's doing its thing. And this is going to be one long video. But hey, like I said, uh, no editing here. I'd rather you guys see it like I see it, just in case. Uh, you run into any issues, or if you think it's taking too long and you mess something up, you didn't do it. Uh, um, you didn't mess anything up. It just takes a while with this new uh, new process here. And you don't even need iTunes for it. So I think this is, uh, I mean, in my personal opinion, uh, this this could be the future of all the future jailbreaks, you know, to where you don't need iTunes, which would be very, very nice because everybody hates the iTunes errors, you know what I mean? The dreadful 1600 errors and the error 1 and 21 and all that bad stuff you hate to see on iTunes. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to let it do its thing here. Uh, as you can see, the phone is done uh, as far as the progress bar goes. Let's go back up here, updating the baseband, and it should start the process over. Um, and we will see that here in a second. But yeah, main thing, like I said, make sure you have your firmwares, make sure you have the latest um, version of iTunes, or excuse me, not iTunes, but Red Snow, um, and as you can see, it's on the connect to iTunes, not a problem, because like I said, this is going to do this twice, and it's reading the blobs, all that good stuff, and soon enough, we will be back on 5.0.1 and be able to jailbreak right inside the Red Snow app. 
And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys being patient with me, checking out the video. Um, you know, if it helped you out, make sure to click that like button. You know, I'm being patient through this. What are we going on? 10 minutes, about 13 seconds right now. Uh, this is probably one of the longest videos I've done on YouTube. I mean, Jesus, this is like a this is like a daily vlog here. People make vlogs that are shorter than this, but uh, I'm doing it for you guys, my faithful and loyal subscribers. And if you haven't already, guys, make sure to go ahead and click up top to subscribe to be updated on the latest and greatest tech tutorials, how-tos, tweak videos, jailbreak, downgrade, whatever the fact is. Um, I'm going to have it on here for you. Like I said, I've just been working a lot lately, a lot more than unusual. Um, so that's what's uh, kind of put a damper on most of the videos. I got a bunch of stuff lined up, though. I will tell you that. So there's more to come. And as you see, the progress bar is about to start back over, and it's waiting for that. And now, let me go ahead and zoom in here. As you can see, it is restoring to the iPhone 4S 5.0.19A405. So yeah, don't get scared if it happens, but like I said, the main rule of thumb that I always use before I do anything as far as downgrading, um, jailbreaking, anything like that, is put it into DFU mode. Um, you know, cause sometimes there can cause errors. Uh, you can get stuck in a boot loop, and that's not fun getting out of recovery. So just just a word uh, word to the wise. Um, yeah, DFU mode's where it's at. Okay, and it's uh, basically doing the same thing all over again. We're gonna wait on these two progress bars here, and then we will be back and good to go and ready to jailbreak from inside the app itself. Hopefully soon, because this uh, camera battery is going to die. And yeah. But yeah, make sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you liked the video, if it helped you out. Even if you didn't like the video, thumb it up anyway. It helps me out. You know what I mean? Uh, every little bit counts. It helps me help you guys. Another thing is, you know, go ahead and leave me some comments down in the comment section below. Um, any suggestions of videos that you want to see, any information that you need. It doesn't have to pertain to how to jailbreak or how to downgrade. You know, it could be something as simple as mixing and matching a theme, uh, searching th things through iFile. Uh, just, you know, whatever you, whatever you feel, whatever you want to see, go ahead and put that input down there because that's going to make me aware of what you guys need. Um, you know, better quality videos on what is pertaining to you and your unique situation it's just a way for me to actually reach out to you guys better so go ahead and see, leave me some comments down there uh, like I said click up top to subscribe uh, go ahead and swing by the YouTube channel itself uh, there's links of my Twitter page alright sorry about that the, uh, the camera decided to screw up on me I don't know why but uh, yeah we are in the middle of um, the last stage of downgrading here. So once the uh, yeah, once the progress bar goes all the way, we're good to go, and we will successfully be back on 5.0.1 and be able to jailbreak from there. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just doing this to help you guys out. You know, um, we all weren't you know born with the knowledge of how to do this stuff right off the top of our heads you know everybody had to learn somewhere so I'm just trying to help out and help you guys out maybe you can use that uh, to your benefit to help other people out you know um, but yeah this is uh, this is pretty much done and there's your message right here restore successful your device was successfully downgraded to uh, 5.0.19A405 and it says if the firmware is compatible with the Corona A5, you should be able to jailbreak it from the first page of Red Snow once the device is activated. So that is true there. Um, you can, in fact, go ahead and jailbreak straight from the Red Snow uh, app itself. And the progress bar just finished. And we are now successfully back on 5.0.1. This is uh, one of my longer videos, I do apologize, but however, I did it for all you guys, and uh, I want to thank you for watching, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, spread the word, you know, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your grandma, tell your grandpa, tell your mama, tell them all, word of mouth is a powerful thing, 
But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, I'll catch you guys later.